Hi all, uh, welcome back to my channel Learn with Kirish. Uh, in today's session, we'll uh, take a first look at Azure OpenAI service and uh, some of the features and the model it provides. Uh, we'll also look at how do we train uh, these models with our own custom data. So today's session, I'm not going through any code. We'll just go through uh, the Azure portal and the feature the service provides. With that, let's start the session. First thing uh, you would require is uh, the access to the service itself. Uh, for that, you need to apply for access using this link. Once you go to this link, you would get a form and uh, you need to provide all the required details, including your subscription. And only then you will be able to uh, get access to the service. And in case um, if your company is already providing uh, the access, you can go ahead and start using the service. Once uh, the access to the service was provided, I went to Azure portal and uh, created uh, Azure OpenAI service. And from here, uh, we need to navigate to the Azure OpenAI Studio. This is where it will take to. And here uh, we have uh, the details about uh, the service itself. And uh, in the left, uh, we, we see here we have a playground and also the management tab. So the first thing uh, we would need to do is do a deployment. So if you see here, I have already created two deployments. Let's uh, take a look at how do we create uh, this new deployment by going to this link. Here we need to select a model. So currently I have three options. Two of them are for ChatGPT 3.5 of different versions and the other one being the vector embedding model. So I have selected uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo and uh, created uh, these deployments already. And if we go to models here, we can see all the list of models available for us to use. Here we can also create a custom model and then fine tune that model by providing our own data. Uh, so we can go to this link. And then here we might have to choose uh, a base model and then provide uh, our data uh, to do the fine tuning. And currently uh, this feature is not available due to some capacity constraint. Then we have uh, the data files. This is where we can uh, upload our data sets which can be used for fine tuning a model. Then we have uh, quotas. This is where we can define like how many tokens uh, the model can generate per minute uh, for each of the models. And then we have content filters. This is an additional layer provided by Microsoft, uh, which, which protects us from harmful content, both in input and output. So here we can uh, create this filter and then uh, choose uh, the different uh, severity levels, both for the input and the output. Now let's look at the different options available in Playground. So here we have Dali E, which is in preview. So this is a model where we can convert text into images. So here some of the samples I have provided over here. Uh, let me try with one of the texts over here. Let me say it has a, a dog dancing in the rain and then click on generate this is the image what we get from the model and uh, we have different options over here we can look at uh, the code uh, which is used to generate this image and we can use this code in our app and also we have different settings over here. We can specify the number of images to generate and also the image size. Now uh, let's take a look at the completion option over here. So here uh, we can choose different deployments which we already saw earlier. So these deployments can be used for completion of text. Uh, and also we have a lot of examples provided over here which we can choose with respect to summarization and generation of text. So here I will choose one of those 
so let me choose classify text and then click on generate over here and if you see here in the right side uh, we have different options also uh, to change uh, the temperatures and other things so if you see the results over here so for each of these headlines it has classified uh, to what category it belongs to so here for example the headline one uh, is classified as entertainment category likewise uh, the headline three which is regarding iphone it has classified as a tech category and also we have an option to view the code so we can use this code in our app now let's look at uh, the chat section over here so in this page you you see different sections over here the first being uh, the assistant setup here we can specify uh, the system message template by default uh, uh, this this one is selected and here we can tell uh, the chatbot to behave like Shakespeare writing assistant or like a text chatbot so i have selected default option uh, and also we can specify uh, the examples of how the input and output should look like and in the middle we have uh, the chat session wherein we can ask questions over here and here uh, we have configuration wherein we can choose uh, the different deployment which we saw earlier uh, and also uh, select uh, different parameters like temperature and all so let's uh, uh, start uh, by asking some few questions over here let me ask about uh, a joke tell me a joke about machine learning yeah so this is uh, the output provided by the uh, chat gpt model so similarly i have asked few more questions uh, to the chatbot one being uh, regarding the temperature of bangalore and it would reply that it would not have access to the real time data and then i had asked about the latest revenue of reliance industry uh, though it says uh, it doesn't have the latest uh, financial report it, it provides the report of uh, the data on uh, when it was trained on uh, during uh, the year 2020 and 2021 uh, it gives the information during that period uh, so what we will do is uh, uh, we will train this model to get uh, the latest uh, uh, information uh, on the reliance industries and this is very simple uh, so we have an option over here called add your data so which is in preview so we can go to uh, this link and we need to add a data source over here so let's uh, do that I'll click on a data source and then here we can choose different options like we can provide the data which is available in Azure Cognitive Search or, or in the uh, blob storage or upload files uh, from your local desktop. So uh, let me select upload files and here uh, it will ask for the storage account where this uh, the file what we provide uh, uh, will be uploaded and also uh, it will ask for azure Cog cognitive search uh, service which i have already created uh, this is where uh, the index will be stored uh, of the of our custom data and then i will provide uh, uh, an index name i will name it as custom data So since I had already this index, so it uh, gives a warning. So we can ignore that and uh, then uh, click on next. And here we can upload a file. Uh, so here I will just upload uh, uh, the Reliance latest revenue results. So this would uh, take up few minutes let's wait for that on 
once the file is uploaded we can uh, click on next and then save and close so once the data is added so uh, here we would see a message that your data is being added and uh, this may take a few minutes uh, so this is where the data will be added to our cognitive search index so now the data is uploaded uh, so uh, let's ask uh, the same question what we asked previously so if you see now we get uh, the latest uh, results of uh, reliance and also if you come down uh, here we also get uh, the reference uh, so this is what uh, we uploaded uh, so this is a very simple uh, to train the model with our custom data and also as usual we, we can uh, get this code over here and uh, then use it in our apps i hope uh, this session was useful and uh, i have few topics in my mind uh, which i am planning to cover in my future videos and uh, let me know if you want me to cover uh, anything uh, specifically on generative ai uh, I would do in this uh, in in my upcoming session. So thanks for joining the session. See you in the next video.